look at the different ways that we can uh, iterate through the array to get individual pieces of data and output them. You can see obviously here, if I was to output the array now when I run it, it just prints exactly how it looks here. The first thing we can do is we can do a for loop to iterate through. So for row in data. So this will now loop through, and what this does here, this first um, for loop, it pulls out just each individual row. So what this will do is get each row. So you can see now it prints the full um, data set, and then here this for loop loops through and just pulls out each individual row. So you can see the variable row is then assigned to that. If I wanted to just display each individual piece of element after that, what I can actually do is do a nested for it. So I do for i item in row and print i. If I was to run that now, so you can see it prints the entire row and then the second for loop kicks in and it pulls each individual item out. Um, what you can do as well, you can experiment if you don't. Say if I wanted to omit the string at the start here, yeah, so I didn't want to have the string because I wanted to add all the values up, let's say. What I can do here in this row is I can do some indexing and I can tell it where to start. So I'm going to tell it to start after the first element. So what this then does, and you can change these numbers to get it to start at different points in the array. Um, and then what I'm going to ask it this to do instead, I'm going to do a total. Plus I. I'm just going to define total here. So I'm just going to define total here so it wipes every time. It's a reason to define it in this for loop so it resets after each one. So what this will now do. What this will now do is then add up the total for each person. Yeah, so if I run the, the array, you can see what happens. So you see it runs, shows me the full array, the, the row, individual elements, and then you can see then what it will then do. That's that loop. Then here, this loop here, you can see it shows me the full row and then the total of these three numbers. So we can do that and experiment with that. If you wanted to print out, um, just one column of data. We can use indexing to do that. So if I put a row in data, I can do print row, and then I can use my indexing to print out one specific piece of information. So if I do element number one, it would be the, the, the second column here. So 23, 45, and 45 it should output. So if I run it again, you can see then that that outputs only one piece of information. So that's how we can pull a row out using that um, data. So there are different ways how you can um, output data within an array and iterate through the array.